हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल जस्ट रिवाइज एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव सो लेट्स डू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड टोटल डेज फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन अप्रैल टू थर्टीथ अप्रैल सो हाउ टू फाइंड द डेज लेट्स सी नाउ हियर यू नीड टू फाइंड डेज फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन अप्रैल टू थर्टीथ अप्रैल सो हाउ मेनी टोटल डेज आर देयर इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल थर्टी एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द डेज फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन अप्रैल सो वी नीड टू सब्ट्रैक्ट द डेज बिफोर इट सो हाउ मेनी डेज आर देयर बिफोर फिफ्टीन अप्रैल फोर्टीन डेज सो वेन वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट फोर्टीन डेज फ्रॉम टोटल नंबर ऑफ डेज इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल द नंबर विच वी विल गेट इट विल बी द डेज फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन अप्रैल टू थर्टीथ April or you can say the days after fourteenth April. So this will be the answer. Now next is part B, from thirtieth July to eighteenth August. Now similarly we will do this part. Days from thirteenth July to eighteenth August. First of all we will find the days in July. So in total there are thirty one days in July. We need to find from thirteenth July. So we need to subtract the days before thirteenth July. So Before thirteenth July, there are twelve days. When we will subtract twelve days from total number of days, whatever answer we will get, this will be the number of days from thirteenth July to thirty first July. Fine. So this is the uh, days in July. These are the days in July. Then days in August. So we have to find up to eighteenth August. So we have to consider eighteen days of the August. Now total days. Nineteen days of July and eighteen days of August means in total there are thirty-seven days from thirty-seven July to eighteen August. Now next is question number two. Rekha's school closes on third May and reopens on first July for summer vacation. The last day of the school and the first day of the school is given. That is before vacation and after vacation. So how long are summer vacations? so let's see how to do this question first of all we need to find days in may so the summer vacation starts from 3rd may so two days before 3rd may we need to subtract from the total number of days in may so that we can come to know how many days uh, in the month of may there were vacations so 31 minus 2 means for 29 days in may vacations were there and days in june full june month was there for the vacations so 30 days of june then we need to find the total days of may and june so 29 plus 30 is 59 it means summer vacations were for 59 days next is question number 3 aman left for canada on 12th september and came back on 9th november how long did he remain out of town so aman he left for canada on 12th september it means before that from 1st september to 11th september he was in the town and came back on 9th november it means um, on 9th november he came back but for 8 days in the month of november he was out of the town we need to find the number of days for which he was out of town so let's see how to do it now first of all we will find days in september so in total there are 30 days in september so we will subtract the 11 days for which he was there in the town so whatever will be the answer this is the number of days in the month of september when he was out of town for 11 days he was in the town but when we will subtract 11 days from the total days the answer shows that for these number of days he was out of town in the month of september then days in october because he came back on november so for the whole month of october he was out of town there in the canada then days in november so on 9th november he came back it means for 8 days up to 8th november he was out of town now we will find total number of days days of september october and november and the answer is 58 days it means aman remained out of the town for 58 days for 58 days he was out of town now next question question number 4 rehman fell sick on 12th february he recovered from illness on 19th april how long was he sick and you have to consider 20 day 28 days in the month of february so he fell sick on 12th february it means from 1st february to 11th february he was okay he recovered from illness on 19th april on 19th april he is fit and fine it means up to 18th 
uh, April he was ill. So let us find the total number of days for which he was sick. First of all, we will find days in February. So out of 28 days, when we will subtract the 11 days for which he was okay. So whatever days we will have here, these are the days in the month of February when he was ill. Then days in March, for the whole month of March, he was ill. Then days in April. On 19th April, he recovered. It means up to 18th April, he was unwell. So 18 days in the month of April, he was ill. Now total days. Days in February, March and April. So total is 66 days. It means Rahman was sick for 66 days. So this is how we can write the final statement. Next is question number 5. Manju got a temporary job from 3rd March to 14th April. How many days did she work? So Manju, she got a temporary job from 3rd March but up to 14th April only. So let's count the number of days for which she got the job. So first of all days in March. So out of 31 days for 2 days um, he was not on job. So because he got job on 3rd of March. So we need to subtract the 2 days. So, for 29 days in the month of March, he got the job. Then days in April. So, 14th April, 14 days, sorry. Then total days will be days in March and days in April. It means 43 days. So, Manju worked uh, for the temporary job for 43 days. Fine. So, this is the number of days for which she worked. Now, next is... Question number 6. Manas joined his duty in an office on 9th October. After 20 days, he was transferred. Find the date of his last day in the office. So, Manas, he uh, joined in an office on 9th of October. But after exact 40 days, he got transferred. So, let's find the last date of his duty in the office. So, first of all, days from 9th October to 18th October. How many days are there? 10 days. Then from 19th October to 28th October, there are 10 days. And 10 plus 10 is 20. And he only worked for 20 days in the office. After that, he got transferred. It means 28th October was his last day in the office. Now, next is question number Seven. Now, what is question number seven? Ashok returned a library book on 4th June after 14 days. So, Ashok returned the book he just uh, borrowed or issued from the library. He returned it on 4th June, but he had kept that book with him for 14 days. So, what on what date was it issued to him? So, let's see. So, days in June. 3 days because on 4th June he returned the book but for 3 days in the month of June the book was with him. Now remaining days. How to find the remaining days? For 14 days he kept the book and out of 14, 3 days in the month of June he was having the book. It means 11 days are remaining and these 11 days are in the month of May. So let's find the days in May. So in May there are 31 days. So from 31 days we will subtract 10 days. Why? Because 11th day was his um, day when he got the book issued. So 31 minus 10 is 21. So the book was issued on 21st May. Next is question number 8. India got independence on 15th August 1947. Write this date in short form. So how to write the date in short form? First of all, we'll write the date, then month, and then the year means 15 1947. Similarly, the next question, write in short form. These two dates are given and we need to write them in short form. So first is 5th September 1985. So first of all, we will write the date, then month and then year. And similarly in part B, 6th of February 2005. So first of all, you will write date, then month, then year. Now, in the last question, you have to write the date in long form. So, here four parts are given and you need to write the all the four dates in long form. So, let's see how to write. First one is 2nd October 1983, then 15th June 2000, 8th March 2005 and last is 14th December 2008. 
So, dear students, I hope you would have understood this exercise and this will definitely help you when you will just do the revision of this exercise. <music>